Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Redmi K40 and the Poco F3. Today we are talking about a ROM which is sort of legendary because I've been using it on a lot of devices in the past and now it is coming to the 11X. Although right now it is coming as an unofficial version, I really hope soon it gets official support as well because this ROM deserves your attention. Although this particular build is a first unofficial build, it does have a ton of bugs, but I will show you around. We will talk about the benchmark numbers. Remember, take all of this with a grain of salt because these things will improve because this is an initial build. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? AOSP Extended 8.6 Unofficial Android 11 updated on the 22nd of September 2021. It is a 1.3 GB download. You have the change log for the ROM and device. Let's go to the home screen. And the moment you do that, you see that this ROM is extremely, extremely smooth which is what makes it even more interesting. Now, the moment you boot into this ROM, you will see that it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware. It does have very, very few applications. And from the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles. To the left, of course, you have Google Feed, which is working smooth as always on any other custom ROM. So it works really, really well. You do have some basic customization available. So, you know, whatever you need, almost all the things are here, including double tap gesture, swipe down to clear recents, show RAM in recents and stuff like that. And from the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles, which are a ton. So we'll look at them in a bit. Now you do have your widgets, which are a lot of them. And they look a little different than Android 11. Of course, this is a custom ROM. So what do you expect? And then you have styles and wallpapers where you can go ahead and customize a lot of things. And the good thing is it does have a lot of combinations of colors, shapes, icon types, which is predefined. So you can go ahead and select that. Of course, you have three to four different types of always on display clocks as well. Now, if you talk about the quick tiles over here, right, you will see that it has a ton of options and the way this flows on the screen is really, really smooth. That is what I have started liking about custom ROMs and 120 Hertz displays, especially a high quality display like the one which is there on the Mi 11X. Custom ROMs look really, really decent on this. And you do have a lot of options like music, compass, sleep mode, the gaming mode is there. You have your accent color switcher always on display. So all these features and options are available and you can choose to, you know, sort of get a little bit of material you look because that is baked into the ROM, right? Now moving on, let's actually go to settings here. Let's go to about phone and let's go to the Android version that is 11. You do see that it comes with the Quantic kernel, a September security patch and the version is 8.6, although this is unofficial right now. Now, if you talk about customization in this particular ROM, that is the name of AOSP Extended. Extended means it's an extension. It allows you to do more than what Android 11 ROMs would usually allow you to do. So you do have a dedicated menu over here, which says extensions, right? Now, just have a look over here. Now, in the status bar section, you have battery settings, carrier label, clock settings, status bar items, traffic indicators, display cutout, miscellaneous extensions. Over here, you have notifications, quick settings, and then you have navigation bar, gestures, lock screen shortcuts, lock screen UI, battery tweaks, customization, buttons, animations, general tweaks, and gaming mode. The gaming mode though is a very, very interesting one. And you do see that I have a couple of games and a few benchmark applications installed, which I've you know enabled in the gaming mode. If you go to the battery section, you do have a dedicated thermal profiles section in which if you go ahead and select, for example, gaming over here, you do have your option of enabling gaming mode, your touch response, touch sensitivity and touch resistant area. So that is something really, really neat. So in the customization menu, that is in extensions, you do have a ton of options in AOSP extended. Apart from this under display, you do have screen attention and a couple of advanced features for ambient display as well. Also in sound, if you see over here, you have the clear speaker option and all the basic features and options which are required. 
Now, for a first bill, which is unofficial, my experience has been pretty, pretty decent. But that is not in the case with benchmark numbers because they are not that great. Although it does come with Quantic Kernel. And to tell you the truth, this ROM doesn't boot with a lot of bloatware. It does come with Google Camera built in, so that works fine. Although I have installed ANX Camera and soon you will have a video stating how to install ANX Camera on the Mi 11X on custom ROMs. So do wait for that particular video. But let's quickly have a look at the CPU throttle test first. Right now, as you can see, the average performance was 212 to 80 GIPS and the CPU throttled to 84%. So not a great score there. If you also have a look at Geekbench real quick, the Geekbench score is also low with a 842 single core and 2677 multi core. And if you actually go to Antutu benchmark, you will be even more surprised because in Antutu, this ROM scored 505,305. So, you know, I agree that this ROM is an initial build and maybe you should not try it as a daily driver, but I have huge expectations from the ASP extended team that they will give official support to this device because this is a really, really reputed ROM. It works really well, even in the initial build. And I like how it looks and feels to use ASP extended on the Mi 11X. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.